One. Now the left one. John, did you just triple? Fucking triple, dude. Hey, I you wasn't know what the on best the, part is? Hey, I, I wasn't hey, on wait, the first. Wait, wait, wait. You know what the best part is? You didn't fucking see the first one that I shot. No, that sucks. I did, dude. You see how fucking close he is, dude? What? Why didn't you tell me? You, I said the right one, and you said the right one, and I go the right one, dude. That's right. I was on both okay. too. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Dude, dude, you know what? Hey, let me zoom out, let me zoom out, let me zoom out. Dude, still a, a triple with a double kill shot on camera. And they all dropped like hammers, dude. Like hammers. That first shot sounded funny. Did you hear that? It sounded yeah, twang. Yeah, that's why I thought you missed. I thought you missed because I'm like, what did you shoot at, dude? You... Dude, go. Oh my gosh, what in the hell? I, if I would why didn't you tell me? Dude, I... Why didn't you say, because did you even see those two? No, I was on those two the whole way in until three and a quarter seconds before I shot this one. No, dude, I was on that those two the whole way in. And out of the, as soon as I said, which one? I said the lead one, you said the right one. Let's go, let's And go. I looked right, I glanced right and went <laughs> Had to pick up my three dollars worth of brass. Gosh, Fuck. dang it. I can't tell if that bums you out or jacks you up. Well, it's it's it's, 50 -50. A, it's, a, it's a double on video, which is good. It's actually, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move.
too low. He's too low. He's too low. He's too low. Get me there. He's too low. I can shoot through grass. I just got him silhouetted. Here he comes. Here he comes. You shoot him. I'll shoot you if you can. I can't, I can't, I can't see anything but a silhouette. You're going to have to burn it through, dude. I got him now. No, I don't. I can't see him. I can't see him. I can't see him. Did he cross him? Did they do it? No, come on, I'm not, I'm not poopy. I am now. All right, I'm gonna test it out. Dude. Smoked him, dude. I you wasn't should, completely hey, in focus, but I got it. You should get a shot of the wires in my fucking camera, in my scope. Cause I shot between three wires and I thought I was gonna hit every one of them. Hey, we need to go get, you need to go pick them up right now. Go pick them up right now, dude. So here's what happened. Hurry up, we gotta do this. Just start picking them up. I'm gonna sit here and film. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Where were you at? Just move on that where you were. Nice, dude. Oh, okay. So here's, here's what happened, real quick. Real quick uh, breakdown. This is what we call quadro dose because this is the second time we've killed the quad from that exact same spot. Last time Keith solo quad, this time John solo quad. The only problem here is we didn't have spike. Yeah, we oh. didn't have spike. Here's the thing within two minutes on the call, I was playing a super secret squirrel sound. We had two coyotes coming in straight down the fence line to our south. We had a south. Southeast wind, it was supposed to be southwest, so it was good. My only concern was something coming from the northwest, which we have cattle over here. Everything worked out perfect except for two things. Here's <laughs> what they are. The two coyotes pretty, come pretty in. Things. The two coyotes come in from the south. They stay together. You'll see this all picture perfect on film. And John's I'm John's like, which one? Which one? I go, I go, John, which one are you on? Which one are you on? John's like, whichever one. I'm like, the right one. Okay. Shoot the right one. So as soon as James says the right one, my mind instantly goes, okay, lead dog. So I get on the lead dog, and of then I go, two, the lead of one those of, two, of yeah. those two. That these and two are tight together. These two coyotes are tight together right off the yep. bat. Yep, and then and then my mind goes, what if that's not the right, farthest right coyote? So I hurry up and do a quick scan, and sure enough, there's a coyote. Five Poor. yards. Yeah, I was going to say 20 from the call. Five, 10 yards checked in, checked up right in front of the call. There's a coyote 10 yards checked up right in front of the damn call. So I go, okay, right one, and then I hurry up and swing when the coyote's moving. Well. Here's what happened. I'm on the two that came in down the fence line. I told John the right one, and all of a sudden he shoots, and nothing moves. I'm like, dude, it sounded like a weird shot to me because the impact was so fast. Those coyotes were a little bit further away, and I'm like, what the hell? And I look over, and John was running his bolt, and I'm like, I, I thought he missed. And I look, and I can see a coyote just dead in a hammer right beside the right beside the Fox Pro. And I'm like. Shit! Well, those two didn't leave, and he every single one of these coyotes, we haven't got a quad where they all just freaking lock up, shoulder harness, hydrostatic shock, done. And that's what happened on all these. Unfortunately, the first one that checked up, I didn't get on video because I was assuming he was on those two. That's probably more so that's John's fault. Us. Yeah, he should have told take, me. I was gonna say more so my fault, I'll but take, I'm just blaming. I'll take the blame because because as soon as I saw that one, I go. Oh, I hope James sees that one. Nope, I would never. And so he shoots the first one right beside the call in order here. The second one, he locks up, done. I hit the sound, hit the call. The other one pauses. He locks the other one up. And we're sitting there freaking high-fiving and shit. And James sees one. I look straight, just do a little scan. And this is such a tough spot because we're not in a, in a it's, it's recess, flat. but it's flat. And then it drops off after this little flat. I could see the head of one out there about 400 yards away. And I do a little bit of work in action, accountant style on the TX-1000, and he freaking comes in. The only sucky part here is John was proned out. There's a lot of snow. He was burning it through a lot of crested wheat grass. This coyote, 
he probably could have shot him at a certain point where I had yeah. better video, but this coyote made a circle around a high spot, ridge line here. He never appeared till he had to be, he was close to straight north of us. Yeah. Like, he, like he, I said, all I could see were the silhouettes of his ears and I could, I could have held an aim. Uh, at the and, beginning, yeah, but at, at the, the last shot he yeah. went through, he was probably 200, 250 yards away. Should have ranged it. And well. you'll see it. I, I was trying to focus on him, but I think I was focusing on the fence line. It was just tough. I couldn't manually do it, make the adjustment right there. John locked his ass up too. Smoke good, him in the face. Good shooting, or was it really? Good shooting, man. I mean, that was, that was really solid shooting. So hopefully, this is all just gonna be from one camera angle just because the time's of the essence. I don't have enough time, enough lighting right now. This is the last set of the day. The set right before this sucked because we took about a half of an hour to get in. Yeah. We walk in and there's a coyote. Right Looking when we're getting us. set up, he comes out and busts us. So this, this is a perfect, it doesn't take long to get to 100 coyotes when you kill four almost every set. Right in the face, dude. Sure as shit, right through it, dude. All right. Nice work. Uh, bur we're burning up the 250. <coughs> Running the Fox Pro, got the Everly Stock packs. We're out, man. We're gonna get the R5, do a wicked, uh, some B-roll, some cool footage. You guys will see this on the YouTube channel. Nice. We're out. Wicked, dude. That was cool. Let me see how bright I bet I wasn't are. man enough to hold up all four like this.